This episode of Live WP TV is sponsored by the Microsoft Nerd Center in Cambridge and HostGator.com. So, welcome to um, another Boston WordPress meetup. Here's the Wi Fi code up here, our website, our Twitter handle, and hashtag. My name is James Coletti. I am Craig. And I'm John Bishop. So, a quick shout out to Microsoft Nerd. Um, We've, uh, we've been meeting here for uh, about three years now, and they provide an awesome, awesome venue, and uh, sometimes we meet on the first floor, sometimes we get this really awesome space here, so uh, thank you, Microsoft. We have to thank our other sponsor, HostGator, as well. Uh, they have a nice one-click install for WordPress. Uh, use Boston WP Meetup for 25% discount, um, and help support us out as well. And our meetup sponsor is AMP Agency. Um, so our first speaker is from AMP. You guys can ask them questions uh, afterwards or beforehand. But they sponsored our pizza today. Uh, yeah. So we are currently now the second largest WordPress meetup in the world with just about three, uh, 1,300 members. New York, New York. team has grown now to, to three organizers. We're looking for one or two more uh, contributors to help build our team. Um, Ian, feel free to email us if you have some time to spare and would like to contribute to this group organizing administrative stuff, handling all the stuff that we do. And if you did email us, could you please email us again? Because we just get so many emails every day that we miss a lot of them. Oh, well, I apologize. We, we apologize for anything. Um, we also have a website, bostonwp.org. Uh, you can get a, jump to the meetup page from there. We also have forums. It should be up soon. Um, sorry, it's been down for a little while, but uh, we're working through that. And there are job boards up there. It's a great place to find local WordPress developers and freelancers, um, so check that out. Um, and we also post the meeting minutes and videos after each meetup up on that site. So uh, go check it out if you haven't already. And if you have a job that you want posted, feel free to sign up and post your job on here as well. So big announcement, um, WordCamp Boston 2012. Uh, the date is July 14th and 15th. Uh, for those of you who don't know what WordCamp is, it's an all weekend camp all about WordPress and everything about WordPress. Um, it will be held at Boston University like it was last year. The website 2012.boston.wordcamp.org. If you want to see what happened last year, go to 2011.boston.wordcamp.org. Um, we are looking for speakers, volunteers, and sponsors. Uh, speakers, call for speakers closes May 19th. Um, we are always looking for volunteers to help out. And if you are interested in sponsoring WordCamp, shoot us an email. Um, and there's, there's actually a form on the site. Feel free to fill it out and we'll get to And if you are looking to speak, um, if you have any ideas or looking for anything from SEO, theme development, design, um, if you're not sure, ask us, but we're looking for all kinds of stuff. So, Anybody have any questions? How much does sponsorship? It's on the site. Uh, and they range from 250 to 3,000. Yes? Um, there's a lot. You know, you can uh, help out speakers, get the talks ready. Um, you can help set up the rooms, uh, some AV, um, guiding people where they're going, uh, registration. Um, we need help for. Oh, this particular meetup. Oh. Um, wow, there's a lot. Um, if you if you are interested, we can we can talk a little bit later. Um, but there, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. All right, so we, we have a May meetup already, um, May 14th. It's scheduled on meetup. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm Okay. Let's. 
after the, after this, let's let's talk in the back. How's that? Um, the May meetup, May 14th, uh, it's on meetup.com. Um, we originally had it scheduled for Microsoft Nerd. Um, we are going to change it. It's going to be an informal meetup, either at Mead Hall or the Asgard. Um, this, well, this is a short meetup, only because of the holiday, Memorial Day, and we couldn't get any other venue. Um, but we wanted an informal meetup, uh, because James has a, a couple of announcements. Oh, so my, my name is the title of the slide. It's kind of intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> so I founded this group um, about three years ago in December 2008. And we built a great relationship with Microsoft Nerd Center. Um, before, we were just kind of hopping around to these like, old crummy bars in Cambridge and stuff. And there was like seven of us. Um, we're now 1,300 members, as I mentioned, the second largest. We just moved up from the third largest. The first meetup had seven RSVPs, and this one had over 160. So that's really awesome. It's really exciting to see that. Um, so in that time, we've added two additional organizers. We now record the sessions for all the – we have videos for every session. We post them online. We do double tracks. We have a website, job board. We have sponsors that help do this. We're responsible for the word camps. And best of all, we have fans, which is awesome. We see the same faces come here um, month to month, driving from everywhere around the state to even out of state. One person I know drives like two hours to come here. So it's really awesome. Um, I'm just going to announce to you guys that I'm heading out to San Diego. So this will be my last official meetup. Um, I grew up in New, New England, and it's just time for change for a couple of years. I do plan to come back, but uh, next month we'll have the informal meetup, so definitely come by and uh, we'll hang out. Yeah, it's been a great, it's been a pleasure, you know, running this community and stuff. So the sessions tonight, um, we have, these are a little bit out of order, we're actually going to start with Brian's talk, WordPress and e-commerce, um, and we also have Blaze and Ned over here from Zine, um, and they will be talking about prototyping web apps with WordPress. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with Brian, if you guys have any questions um, after the talk, we're going to actually move you guys probably upstairs in that room. Um, lights on, um, so that way we're not interrupting the other talk as well. Um, do you guys have any other questions, comments before we start? All right. Thanks, guys. Well, thank you guys, and uh, thank you all for having me here tonight. I'm uh, excited to uh, to be here, part of this uh, record-setting uh, meetup here in Boston tonight. And uh, this is my first time presenting uh, at a meetup, so uh, hope you all enjoy. Um, so as uh, the guys mentioned, I'm going to be talking uh, about WordPress and e-commerce this evening. Um, and uh, before I get into that, I wanted to just kind of give you a little bit of an overview of myself, <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know me, and uh, as well as Amp, who uh, is uh, sponsoring this uh, event tonight for the pizza. Um, so my name is Brian Piccolo. I am the uh, VP of Interactive at Amp, and I'm responsible for overseeing all of the uh, technology uh, and development that goes on at AMP, so um, web design and development, mobile development, social, and um, banner ads, anything uh, in the interactive space. Um, 
I've been at AMP for about two and a half years now, um, and been in the interactive space for over almost 15 years now. Um, AMP is a full-service digital agency here in Boston. Um, we were founded in 1995, um, and. Our services really run the gamut in terms of the uh, agency space, so we do the traditional advertising agency um, offerings, brand strategy, creative development, um, and uh, experiential and promotional marketing. Um, whoops, yeah, sorry. <laughs> there you go. Um, we, uh, we also have a full suite of digital offerings, um, so everything from media buying and planning, to web design and development, mobile development, uh, as well as social media, and, um, and really everything in between. Um, so as a full service agency, we really offer our clients a, a one-stop shop, um, and everything we do is, is kind of grounded in consumer insights. Um, and we, we use those learnings in our proprietary um, research to, to really craft um, custom marketing solutions for our clients. Um, our clients really range um, Run the gamut. We uh, we work with Maybelline of New York on uh, Garnier Fructis business. Um, we work with Lifestyles Condoms um, and uh, every, and a bunch of big national brands in between. So Samsonite, Intel, NFL players, um, and um, we're also hiring. So if uh, if any of you um, are interested, you can come see me and some other the AMP folks uh, after the the meeting. So. Why WordPress for e-commerce? Um, as you all know, WordPress has uh, indeed become a uh, true CMS platform. Um, so you know, no longer is it just for blogging. Uh, its ease of use and, and its developer-friendly architecture has really, uh, you know, are really two key reasons why it has it has evolved the way it did, as well as communities, you know, like this uh, like this meetup group. Um, in the e-commerce world, um, I'm sure a lot of you have experience with uh, some of the, uh, the the shopping cart players out there, OS Commerce, Zencart, Magento, and I'm sure most of those experiences have not been pleasant ones. Um, but um, you know, and, and CMS and shopping carts and e-commerce have really always been kind of separate disciplines within the the interactive space. So. CMS is, you know, really meant to create, publish, and manage content. And there's great platforms out there for doing that, um, WordPress being one of them. Um, and in the e-commerce space, it's really, you know, the, the shopping carts that are there are really focused on transactions. So selling stuff online, managing your products, managing that, that, that transactional component. Um, Sure, there are CMS systems out there that have e-commerce modules that allow you to sell stuff, um, but they lack, you know, some of the advanced features of, of you know, the, the more robust shopping cart platforms. Um, and the shopping cart platforms, you know, sure, they they do some content management and allow you to, you know, add a privacy policy or a terms and conditions page, but you know, they're they're really not made for managing content. Um, and WordPress really has, a, a, in, in my opinion, a unique opportunity to kind of bridge those two um, gaps, and is already doing so. Um, and, you know, because of its ease of use, because of its, um, the, 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 the community that is around it, um, you know, when you take some of these e-commerce plugins that I'm gonna be talking about tonight and marry it with the WordPress platform, you truly get a, um, a, a robust, and a seamless integration of, um, of, of, of CMS and e-commerce. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. Um, you know, with most, um, with most projects um, and most of the project uh, plugins that I'm going to talk about tonight, you know, they, they require a standard set of features. Um, and whenever you're doing e-commerce, you're always going to need to manage a product catalog. You're always going to need to manage the inventory associated with those products. Um, you're going to need to collect payment about those products. Um, so there's this really core set of features 
um, that you need. And, and all of these, these plugins that I'm going to talk about tonight have those, those, those core features. There's also advanced features that, you know, depending on your requirements, um, you know, you may have a, a, a subscription or a membership site. You may have a, um, you know, a, a product catalog with the hundreds and or thousands of products that you need to manage and, and sell um, with, you know, dozens of variants among each of the, uh, uh, of the offerings. Um, you may want to sell digital or physical goods um, or a combination of the two. Um, in any case, you need, you know, different requirements and, uh, for a, a specific project require different solutions. And so what we tried to, what I tried to do here was give you guys a, um, uh, a, a variety of tools to, to evaluate and, and to kind of work through the clutter of the, uh, the e-commerce plugins that are out there. And, and we're really narrowed into um, a couple of key plugins that will give you a, a, a tool set that you can use on, on, um, on your product. Um, so we're going to start with um, uh, free plugins. We're going to take a look at some premium plugins that are out there as well. Um, but you know, with uh, with um, most of these, um, we have I have myself and uh, my developers have some uh, experience with them. Um, we also have um, taken feedback and. Uh, from the WordPress community as well, and, and factor these into to some of the stuff that we're going to be looking at tonight. So um, we're going to begin with the free list, uh, with the free plugins, and you know, not unlike most features and functionality within WordPress, um, you know, there are really myriad plugins available, and uh, e-commerce is no different. Um, and really, sifting through those can be challenging, and. Um, you know, identifying the good ones from the bad ones, from the um, uh, the ones that you're going to go down a rabbit hole in, um, is 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 important. So we're going to take a look at um, uh, four plugins here tonight, um, beginning with uh, the granddaddy, if you will, um, WP e-commerce. Um, so this was one of the uh, original e-commerce solutions um, for WordPress. Um, it's been around for over five years or so now, and um, and it has a really robust set of features. Um, you know, you can do really um, a lot of the stuff that I talked about earlier using you know using this plugin. It has great SEO capabilities. Really, one of um, you know one of the best uh, when it comes to that. Um, they do have um, premium upgrades available, and most of these free plugins that we're going to look like do offer. Some premium add-ons and premium extensions, so um, you know you can get up and running pretty quickly uh, for free. But if you want to do some more advanced stuff or more um, or, or add in a, a very specific payment gateway or something like that, it's gonna you know you typically you'll have to um, you'll have to pay for one of these uh, premium upgrades. But um, but it is uh, it is free out of the gate, um, and because it's been around for so long, it really has um, extensive documentation. So um, there's a, a, a lot of information out there about about this plugin and um, uh, to help you get going. Um, because it's been around for a while, kind of has a, a reputation um, and, and not a great reputation. Um, so it's uh, it's known for not the best user interface and, and usability, um, and also it's known for being a bit buggy. Um, but, um, you know, but it's, it's been around this long for a reason. You know, people are using it, and, um, you know, by the number of downloads out there, you can, you, you, you can tell. Um, so the next one we're looking at is um, Cart 66 Lite. So um, there's also a premium Cart 66, which we're going to actually look at um, a little later. But um, but they do offer a light version um, to kind of get you up and running and, and out of the gate. Um, it's really a simple approach to e-commerce. So this is, this is one of those kind of point solutions where you may want to only offer one product or you have one, you're selling, say, a report or a white paper or something on your website. And... Um, and, and, and you just need the ability for someone to, to, to pay for it. Um, this is a great solution for that because there's really no storefront per se with this. 
Um, what it does is it gives you the, the product management and the, um, and, and, and the, and the back end uh, capabilities. Um, and then it allows you to add the products um, to any page or post within WordPress, um, as well as a, a variety of widgets. So there, there's not necessarily a catalog um, that you can uh, go into, um, but, um, but you know, still provides that, that standard feature set of, of, of the e-commerce um, functionality. Um, it's probably good to note that um, this <laughs> CAR 66 had a, uh, a, a recent um, security exploit um, that, uh, that took them a little while to, uh, to actually address. Uh, it actually took Alex King to, uh, to out them, so to speak. And, um, uh, before, and, and then once they were, you know, once it was brought to their attention, they, quick, they quickly addressed it. Their whole support model and, 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 um, uh, has changed because of that. Um, so they've, they've improved greatly since that um, little incident. Um, but I uh, thought it was worth noting. Um, the next two uh, we're going to look at here, um, JiggleShop and WooCommerce, um, are kind of the uh, OS Commerce and Zen part of the uh, of the WordPress uh, e-commerce plugin. So, uh, JiggleShop was started uh, about a year or so ago, uh, maybe a little less, um, and um, and it's a, it's a it's a great platform. They have a really nice set of features to allow for that promotional aspects of e-commerce, so cross-sell and upsell and related products and, and product reviews and, um, and and all of that stuff comes you know comes pretty standard with it. Um, they also have a, um, a, a pretty uh, extensive uh, uh, language language pack offering so you can you can localize your your, your storefront in a variety of languages um, which is nice. Um, and they too have a, a, a pretty extensive um, documentation and community support um, available. Um, WooCommerce um, is the the first uh, plugin, I think, the first plugin offering from uh, from Woo Names. Um, and I'm told that the, the site is back up as of uh, <laughs> a little while ago. Um, so WooCommerce is actually a fork of Jiggleshop, and um, they, uh, they probably a little under a year ago, um, you know, broke off and, uh, and uh, launched their, you know, their, their own branch of, of the, the Jiggleshop um, code base. Um, you know, with Woo, you're, you're, you're getting that, that really, you know, that, that, that really great integration with their, with their themes, and they, they offer some, some really good um, premium add-ons and, and premium things. Um, they have great support available, um, and, and have really kind of taken, you know, um, have really taken the um, uh, the, the commerce plugin um, to, to to a new level. We uh, we actually just recently launched um, a WooCommerce site at uh, at AMP and, and had really great success with it. And uh, um, for for all these reasons. Um, and, and we definitely, you know, recommend it to, uh, to, so those are the, uh, those, those are the free, those are the free plugins on our short list. Um, you know, we could definitely get into to some of the additional features if you guys have questions or, or, or run out later. Um, taking into the, the, the premium, um, space, um, so again, as most of you know, premium plugins, um, you know, typically will, uh, as I mentioned, offer some additional features, extensions, or you know, commercial support, premium support, um, as well as ac access to future upgrades. Um, so you, you pay a little bit, you get a little bit uh, from them, um, and uh, you know, much like the, uh, the the free plugins available, the you know, the quality and the um, uh, of, of the premium plugins vary as well. So, you know, there, there's people charging for, you know, for plugins that are not very good out there. And, um, and so, you know, we, we narrowed our shortlist down here to, uh, uh, to our top three, um, Market Press, uh, Shop, and Cart66 again. Um, you know, one big, uh, and just before we get on, as, as I'm sure, you know, you 
uh, a lot of you guys know, one of the, the, the big differences between a free plugin and a free premium plugin is the support that you get. So most free plugins offer community support. So you have you know sparse documentation online, as well as a, a forum um, or a, a you know listserv somewhere that can um, that can help answer questions or, or get um, you know uh, support from the community of users and and developers um, that are using their product. With the commercial product, you get that premium access. You get that access to premium support. So a dedicated email or a dedicated ticketing system, um, which you know is, 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 is nice in a lot of times. When, when you just need that answer, um, it's sometimes worth, um, you know, worth that, 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 the couple of bucks to, to have a, a, you know, a direct line to someone. Um, so MarketPress uh, is an offering from uh, the WPMU dev um, folks. Um, if you guys aren't familiar, uh, I'm sure you are with WPMU um, dev. It's it's a great uh, it's a great site. They uh, you know they offer a, a, a variety of packages um, uh, with access to all of their themes, all of their plugins. Um, they, they, their their plugins are are, are pretty well. Um, Put together, they have uh, you know robust um, feature sets and, and really nice support and documentation available. They have videos, tutorials. Um, so if you're not familiar with them, I definitely recommend checking them out. Um, their e-commerce offering is uh, is called Market Press, um, and uh, and it's it, it, it's really great. There's a ton of features into it. You know everything that you would expect from a from an e-commerce uh, a shopping cart uh, plugin. Um, you know, and uh, one of the one of the nice kind of uh, features is a WP e-commerce importer. So if you are fed up and frustrated with uh, WP e-commerce, you can they, they make it really easy to switch. Um, and uh, with with much of the the WPMU um, plugins that and things that are available, they they really offer a, a flexible and robust um, de developer set of uh, API short codes theming, template tag, and, and the such. So they have their actual own um, um, WPML, their own language, to, to really help um, you would extend their plugins and their themes. So, um, so definitely worth checking out. Um, Shop is the, uh, is, is the next one that we're going to talk about here. Shop is, is, is really great as well. Um, this was on our shortlist. It was really down between WooCommerce and, and Shop, and um, you know we we uh, we could have really gone either way. The, the the feature sets are really comparable. Shop offers, you know, in, in my opinion, it, it offers a little bit more in the way of developer tools and developer APIs. They have something like 250 template tags that you can use within your within your themes. Um, and just a really robust set of um, action and filter hooks that, that you can um, that you can access, um, and really um, seamless integration within the WordPress backend. So you know, you, it, it's it, it just it looks like it belongs within WordPress. Um, so it's a great uh, it's a great plugin, um, pretty reasonable too. So you can get a site up and running for fifty bucks um, and. Uh, um, they offer a variety and, uh, and a growing list of um, add-ons and extensions as well. Um, and then the last, um, the last one I'm going to talk about tonight is one I already talked about a little bit, is um, Card66. Um, again, as I mentioned, they do offer a, uh, a premium version. Um, and this one is, 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 really, uh, is really specialized. And um, if you're looking for that subscription-based Site or a membership-based um, uh, model for, for, for the plugin, uh, for your e-commerce rather, sorry, um, you, you should definitely check this out. So it, it allows you um, to create and, and, and uh, create content and then restrict that content or uh, create uh, your, your products, um, put it behind a, um, you know, a, a paywall, and, um, but it allows you to really tease that information um, and, and you know this this uh, little uh, highlight here shows you a, an example of that. So you know if you're if you're dealing with a premium content site or um, selling you know digital goods or downloadable goods, this is a, a great potential solution. Um, they also have really um, really nice integration with some some third party tools like Google Analytics. 
um, constant contact, gravity forms, um, and uh, Zendesk, I think. So just a really nice offering and, and, and a really nice um, um, set of tools. Um, so then lastly, you know, um, I, I wanted to touch on a couple of other things um, as it relates to, um, you know, to mobile, to e-commerce in general. And, um, you know, there's a, there's a couple of things you want to take into account, um, you know, other than just selling stuff. Um, so, you know, the first is, you know, as everyone's aware, um, mobile is where it's at these days. And, um, you know, you definitely want to take that into account and, and, um, as you're, you're developing um, your, your, your solution. Um, and a couple of things have really nice integration with some of the uh, mobile plugins that are out there. So um, WP Commerce integrates with WP Touch pretty seamlessly. Um, and then WooCommerce obviously would integrate nicely with the extension uh, Woo. Uh, Woo. Um, so, you know, that, that might come into play, you know, especially depending on, on who you're targeting with, with your site and, and, and if, if they're going to be, you know, conducting commerce on, on their mobile devices, something that, that you might want to consider in your requirements and in your, um, uh, as, as you're evaluating these, uh, these offers. Um, and then this is, kind of goes without saying, but if you're going to build a nice storefront and a nice website, you, you should definitely track it and, um, and, and, be, and have access to, to some analytics. Um, you know, a lot of these uh, will, will integrate nicely with, with Google Analytics and, you know, some of them out of the box will, um, will take advantage of the uh, Google Analytics e-commerce um, functionality. So, you know, with a couple of uh, com com big options, you can get, you know, your, your Google Analytics e-commerce up and running pretty quickly. Um, and then there's this awesome tool um, that, that we don't have much experience with, but we will soon. Um, it's called Piggy, and uh, it basically provides you with a mobile dashboard for all of your, your for, for, for your storefront, and uh, it gives you a nice uh, stats about all the um, all the transaction and all the the, the, the visiting, uh, all the statistics that you want from a, from an e-commerce site, um, and it's all within a uh, within an app or a, a mobile site. Very cool stuff. Um, and then lastly, you know, this is, this is something that's still relatively new, um, but should definitely be in, in the back of your mind, um, and that's social commerce. So, you know, more and more um, people are actually conducting commerce within Facebook, um, and there's a ton of SaaS-based applications out there that, you know, allow you to get a storefront up and running pretty quickly within Facebook. Um, some of these solutions, um, Pretty sure some of these solutions actually do integrate with um, with, with Facebook and, and provide you with a mechanism to to embed your store on Facebook. So um, you know, as these plugins continue to evolve and and and, and grow, um, you know, that's something that will will undoubtedly be part of their feature set and, and something you guys should uh, should should consider. Um, so that's pretty much it. Thank you. Um, I guess questions upstairs. Right.